Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is going to be your love reading for the next 24 hours or so. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, I greatly appreciate it. If you'd like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Just purchase your, uh, click the link and you can go right to my booking site to get a reading with me. Um, I will very soon be opening up my hours and days, so please sit tight. Um, I know that um, I'm, I get booked up pretty quickly, so I want to make sure that I can get everybody, okay? Just a little message for you. Um, so let's see. This is a Virgo channel for all and only Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you're new, yes, yes, please, please do hit the subscribe button and the like on the video so that the video can get out to all who may need to hear it. Um, I kind of like spoke out of <laughs> my my rotation. So I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I forget to say? But let's take a look, Virgo, and see what your love messages are from the person you may be connecting with or not connecting with at this time. Okay, past energy with them. Page of Swords. Whoo, the High Priestess was in yesterday's reading. And the Eight of Cups. Okay, and they have the Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Wands, and the future Three of Pentacles, Temperance again, and the Four of Wands. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you listened to yesterday's reading, but I feel like this is the same thing going on here um, in similar ways. First of all, Virgo, um, the center of this reading is a major turning point happening here. And I feel like yesterday was similar energy, big turning point in this connection and change is happening. Um, Let's take a look. We have Pisces and Sagittarius energy for those of you who need to know. We also have Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius. All right, let's look at the past love messages. Okay, this could be the one. You've already met the... Okay. Yeah, your partner views you, obviously, as being the one, and or what they did in the past, This and express your love, okay? So I feel like your person definitely feels like you are their person. Um... Do they want to express their love? I don't know. They're being told to express their love. Will they? Will they? I'm not sure. But I feel like they're looking and viewing you right now. They're they're looking at you. They're searching for you. Um, that page of swords <laughs> can be, you know, it's it can be tough, but it's basically like this person is extremely curious right now. They're in curious mode. Maybe because you were silent before, they may still view you as being withdrawn. Um, it kind of feels to me like they feel like you've just walked away or you, in the past, you've moved on. Um, and they're curious and they're looking for you, okay? Which is kind of, you know, I don't, you know... <sighs> It just feels like looking for you. The Eight of Cups. They, your person, you guys might be in some kind of temporary separation at this, or you were in the past. I keep forgetting to say the past. Um, so yeah, this person. Mm. All right, for some of you, this person went quiet or, or disengaged from your connection. Eights can be about control. So it could have been done on purpose. Could have been this person giving you the silent treatment in the past. Um, but while they're in silent mode and disengaged, they're stalking, they're watching, they're seeking, they're curious if you're gonna reach out or if you're gonna give them a hard time or whatever, okay? <laughs> Let's take a look at this page of swords here. In the past, this might've been a, ha a ha like a hobby, or a hobby, I mean, gosh a habit where maybe they say something, they said something to you that was kind of like truthful, but maybe cutting, and then they disengage. Or they come in and they're asking you a lot of questions and then they disengage. Either way, the High Priestess and the Eight of Cups, temporary separation and silence. 
So let's look at the Page of Swords. Okay, the star. Hmm. Okay. So they would come in, and it looks like in the past, and try to renew communication with you in some ways. Um, maybe bring you a sense of hope about some some things that they would say, or hoping that they also, if you know, you guys, if you went silent or pulled away, hoping that they could spot you or see where you are or what you're doing. The High Priestess. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, the high priest with the high priestess, both of you in silent mode. Um, if there was a conversation about commitment or marriage or something like that in the past, uh, this person disengaged because of that. The, this eight of cups can be someone who withdraws. It can also be someone who abandons a relationship. So there was structure here with the Hierophant or the High Priest in this deck uh, where this was like following the rules and doing things traditionally and doing things like progressing things and they abandoned the connection. Queen of Swords. They very well could have been talking to somebody else who's a Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Um, or... If and and we're not playing guessing games here. If that's your story and you know that for a fact, that's for you. But if not, and it's a hunch, don't run with it because you don't know. Um, but it very well could have been that you know you were at coming across to them as the Queen of Swords and you gave them some truth, or you said something and they separated from you or went into silent mode. Okay, now let's look at the present. Okay, but Eight of Cups, temporary. It's it's withdrawal, but it's not permanent. Let's take a look here and see. Present, very soon, decision's going to get made by this person to give the relationship and work, uh, a chance and work on the partnership. This person is defeated. <laughs> they it's self sabotage. That's what I feel like. If you gave them some communication or you said something to them that was truthful, um, they're hit. They've hit. They're in the present, hitting rock bottom, making some kind of change. They're gonna try to make something work here with you. This connection, the Ace of Wands, can be very physical urges. It's a it's a very passionate card. Um, they it just feels like. They're at like they're they're at rock bottom here with this ten of swords. Um, let's see, like a painful, complete and painful ending, huh? Why? Why is this ten of swords here? Why is this person hitting rock bottom? Oh, <laughs> seven of wands. Because they can't fight anymore, right? It feels like your person had some inner awareness or some insight maybe even some wisdom they were fighting for the wrong thing maybe not fighting for this connection i feel like you wanted something more with them and they weren't able to do that or weren't able to give that um but it feels like at the present this person or whoever you are or whoever your person is is like could be coming to terms for some of you coming to terms with the fact that they have to fight for the relationship like the ten of swords for me the message they're giving me right now is surrender hitting rock bottom is surrendering okay and then the wheel of fortune a turning point massive change here let's take a look the wheel of fortune oh yeah the shadow side for some of you this person had a very uh, serious addiction or facing their addictions, alcohol, drugs, gambling, workaholism, whatever it might be, whatever's going on with them. Could have been codependency, being addicted to you. Um, but that shadow side, a lot of anxiety. That's a devil card. 
greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. If this is related to yesterday's reading, I was pointing out yesterday's reading that this person had greed issues. Maybe they were money hungry or greedy or they just whatever they wanted to have, they, it was for them. That's what they wanted. This is what's changing. And that's Capricorn energy. We also have Taurus. So let's take a look at the shadow side. Wow, the moon, Piscean energy. What's changing is their deception and their lies or the things, the un, you know, the problems that weren't solved. Um, this person's making these voluntary changes. Really like beginning to a little bit of light being shed on the things that's hitting some kind of rock bottom situation, surrendering to something, maybe something you said. If you were coming out at them with the Queen of Swords, you were just like direct and to the point. You were judicious about what you said. I don't feel like you were being mean, but you might have been just direct and right to the point. And with that, maybe a little bit of coldness, and maybe that's why that person abandoned the connection, or just you told them what you wanted, but you were just direct with this person. Like, you know, like, in other words, like you didn't, I don't feel like you were swords or wielding. But I do feel like you were open to listening and having a conversation and you were just clear. The Queen of Swords is crystal clear and you were crystal clear with them. Maybe you guys just didn't want the same things, okay? I'm not really sure, but it feels like if there was an argument or things were, you know, the Page of Swords can have very nasty mouth sometimes. So maybe they were you know saying things to you or you said things to them or whatever it might have been for some of you but this ace of wands is here so in the present energy this is kind of like um this person's like a new opportunity inspiring is look here's the three of cups again inspired to change for some of you this person could have been like a serial dater a big flirt um you know connecting with a lot of romantic partners um this could have something to do with the change it could have been like i said sexual lust or an addiction to that um in, in there i just feel like they're inspired to change they're surrendering and making a decision here to give this partnership work on the partnership and even like there's an inspiration to have some kind of reunion. And when, so when we say reunion, it just means like for you guys to reconnect again. Um, but, but, but this person isn't going to jump right in and just be like, will you marry me? Or let's just pick up, like, let's just get into a relationship right away. They're going to come across more as a friend. Okay. <laughs> um but with being inspired to work on the partnership all right well, look here's deception a new love okay we got two marriage cards here divine timing patience moderation why is deception here with new love? Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And a new person has stirred their romantic feelings. Oh, okay, they just told me. Look, here's the Knight of Cups. This person going forward will tell you that um, they met someone, but it didn't work out. And that they were um, regretting it or feeling like it was a bad idea. It kind of destroyed them in a lot of ways. But at the same time, for some, okay, <laughs> I have to tell you, this deception card and the Knight of Cups feels like this person is a fool in love. Their, their feelings get stirred up again by your by you in some way it's really bizarre or maybe i'm not really sure what's going on with them but they're surrendering to something here so this deception feels to me like they've been deceiving themselves 
about how they feel. They've suppressed their feelings. They've been, look, remember I said here with the moon card, this can be a card of, this is a card of lies and deception, okay? The fact of the matter is that this person truly wants, or going forward, they, they realized that they were fooling themselves, that they truly did love you and they truly did want to have something here with you. Um, there's also very strong physical attraction here. I feel for some, either they met somebody and they destroyed that <laughs> or they decided that it's not something that they want from somebody else or they tell you that they were talking to somebody else and it didn't work out and they realize you're the one for them. You know, you do whatever you want with that. <laughs> but let's take a look. The Three of Pentacles is working on the partnership. This is collaboration. There's the Wheel of Fortune again. So major shift and change, turning point going forward in the future. Why is temperance here? Divine timing, of course. And the Two of Cups, Romance, coming together. Four of Wands, you guys. This is structure, foundation. This is homecoming, celebration, family, friends, reunion. Maybe a wedding. Maybe a, some type of a celebration happening. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. If this is similar to the reading yesterday where this person was like viewing you as a friend, I feel like they're surrendering to the fact that they really do have loving feelings for you or they are in love with you and they want to make some kind of offer to you going forward um, and have that secure relationship or buy a home or, you know, move in together or have this like a long term type of um just this is that security card for me when it comes to love, safety, building, building, building a legacy, retiring with you, um, sharing their inheritance. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of marriage here or commitment of some sort, but I'm also seeing it being like this, the two of cups, I, they're just telling me like mutual agreement coming into contracts of some sort look how this temperance how he has the two cups there and the energy between like that could be water but for me it is fluid it's water you know water can be energized elect um, electricity and that's what i feel like the angels are conspiring to have you guys come back together and then look now if you want this person again you can have them again and if you don't then you know you can make your own decision here but there's definitely something here but i kind of feel like um you your person was just really not um at the depth of emotion that maybe you were or their feelings and when things so they may have you know um they may have wanted to express their love to you but it feels like some of you maybe just put the kibosh and said, don't waste your time telling me how you feel if we're not going to progress the relationship into something more secure and stable, right? Um, what did somebody tell me the other day? Relationships need three things in order for them to either be saved or to work out right? Um, it's not chemistry. It's not compatibility. None of that. There needs to be on both sides, an ability to be in a healthy relationship. There needs to be a motivational factor or trigger that would motivate both people to want to heal or be in a relationship together. And there needs to be willingness if those three things are not all in conjunction and working together can it be saved no it doesn't matter how much chemistry or compatibility you have Pe 
Two people have to be willing, able, and motivated to make a relationship work and move it forward. And that's not just in a romantic relationship. I mean, that's like a job. You know, if if you're not able to do the job, you won't be able to do the job. If you're not willing to do the job, you won't be you won't be doing the job. And if you're not motivated to go to work, like I mean, motivation to go to work is not only a sense of pride and self-esteem, but also a paycheck. <laughs> you know, so those three things have to they have to be the foundation of a relationship. It doesn't matter how much two people are attracted or love each other or how they have good chemistry. Um, but because then you're just floating in the air together. <laughs> Let's get, um, I was going to pull some charms, but I'm just going to pull a couple of, um, I don't feel like your person was one of all three or all three period, but something here is changing with this person you you'll have to figure that out when they when they make this return um and use your senses virgo because you have those spidey senses all right let's take a look and see what the love messages are here oh my gosh twin flame this is a divine counterpart connection yep straight from the angel's mouth Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. I don't know exactly who that, that's for, but it's time to come off the computer for a while unless you're doing it for work. Be on there for work and then get busy with your life. I look for you everywhere. I told you they were in the past and they still do. They're seeking, out, seeking you out, looking for you. Um, maybe some of you are in the public eye. I replay our conversations over and over. I don't know what that means, how they would be doing that, but there you go. And mastery. This person has learned a deep spiritual lesson, and they're different now. <laughs> well, good for them. You already know the answer you seek, okay? You already met the romantic partner you seek, and this is what they've come to terms with in the past. And now they already know. I feel like they were seeking to find out if you guys, so they're undergoing an awakening of some sort here. Wow. <laughs> Sounds so cliche, doesn't it? But um, let's take some charms and see what the messages are here. Okay. Oh, blue leaf. I have no idea what that is, the message they're giving me here. I'm something I'm picking up with um, cannabis. I'm going to leave that right there because I have no idea. However, a blue leaf resonates for you. That's your message here. Oh my goodness! So we have the saw. Look at that. That's just an interesting object. Saw with very sharp teeth. Virgo, don't don't. Shoot, don't bite anyone's head off with those sharp teeth, Virgo. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to access this message here. What are they saying? I just heard something to do. I don't understand. It said alligator. They said it alligator or crocodile. Alligator or crocodile. Or, or saw or a seesaw and they just said seesaw somebody on a seesaw I don't know are you on a seesaw Virgo would you be <laughs> and then you've got oh look this pretty pink lipstick do you like pink lipstick Virgo because um maybe you have some pink lipstick you're putting on or you like to wear like it's a favorite that almost looks like a fuchsia bright pink neon like someone from like the 90s or the 80s. Put your lipstick on, Virgo. And get out there and, and be happy and enjoy your life if you wear lipstick or your chapstick or whatever, lip lotion. Um, and then we have a cactus here. 
Okay, so somebody's connected to a desert area or a cactus, which, okay, now we also have some acorns, a couple of nuts. That's you and your person. A couple of nuts, that's what you are. Um, <laughs> you know, or this is a very phallus type of sexual thing. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not going to say any more about that. And my sponsors don't copy strike me here on YouTube. One more, two. Somebody, are, are you serious? They just said, um, somebody has these, okay, to each their own, but somebody has these little acorns hanging from their rearview mirror in their car like dice. <laughs> okay, they just said that. Um, what else? What is this? Hold on, you guys. Oh my goodness. Is this? No. Wait, I don't know. I can't tell. At first, I th it looked like a lighthouse to me. A lighthouse. Oh, there might be a song. That lighthouse song. Uh, or a song by a band called Lighthouse. You guys, I'm, I'm probably never... Oh. Oh, no. It's a Christmas candle with holly somebody's name holly a christmas candle or light like you know like um a tall candlestick and holly i'm not even sure if that's what it is i think it is something to do with a christmas christmas candle and then we have a four leaf clover so somebody here is super super lucky you should know virgo whatever's going on in your life it, it, for some of you, you may be like, yeah, that's right, I am lucky. And for others, you may be feeling unlucky, maybe unlucky in love or just down on your luck. But you need to remember that Spirit is saying here that you are a very lucky person. And the four um, clover here um, represents structure, realization, planning, and stable situations. So you will be very lucky in those areas going forward, okay? Um, and I'm also feeling like that's four-leaf clover is a very spiritual um, symbol, okay? So you are 100% blessed at this time. Don't worry, don't stress things, whatever's going on in your life at this time. Oh, look, oh my goodness. Now we have cherries, okay? Um, so the word cherry might resonate for you in some way. Or you, or somebody has acorns hanging from their rear view, or they have cherries hanging from their rear view. But these cherries, either the fruit, something to do with cherries at this time, or or cherry. Maybe somebody's name is Cherry, or you live on like Cherry Park Street, or Cherry Street, or something along those lines. Or, or you like cherries, you're eating cherries. Interesting, interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight charms today. So lucky you, you had a couple of bonus charms. So I'm going to leave your reading there, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, and if you showed up today in my live stream, thank you for participating. I truly appreciate it. I'm there every Saturday. And I will start doing live stream personal readings here on my House of Virgo channel. So stay tuned. I'll be coming out with that information very soon. All right, you guys. Love you, my Virgos. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.